which will help you in your uh, practice if you are going to practice <laughs> whenever you read these uh, <coughs> stories of the spiritual masters all around the world i have seen this usually in the books or in the lectures or in whatever means it is what is highlighted is the great miracles which they perform like jesus walked on water very popular he is popular for that only unfortunately <laughs> meaning that is more popular than all, all the other things good things that he did he is popular for walking meaning i don't know see i have not read bible i don't know anything about christianity but i know this how because it that is so popular i know that jesus walked on water and is popular for that it is said that he cured people he touched them and he cured them all this become popular and it looks attractive yes agreed it looks like a great thing for example you know ramana maharshi i mean i have read more of ramana maharshi when he went into that uh, self realized state in the early years he used to simply sit for days together for weeks together he used to sit in one place in trance as a boy he was just 16 years old just a 16 17 year old boy used to sit in trance small boys used to pester him also they used to throw stones at him he is no he doesn't know but when he wakes up he knows all this nonsense has happened so to get away from people he started going into remote and remote places and he went into an under underground cave in a place in, the, in a nearby state tamil nadu it's called uh, tiruvannamalai it's a small place then he went to a temple there there is a hillock next to that and he found some kind of underground cave in the temple in the temple corridor somewhere and he used to go and sit there and sit in trance to get away from people but in that cave there used to be scorpions and all sorts of insects they will dig into his thigh flesh and he doesn't know so when you look at this you will obviously get shocked it is biting into his thighs it is into his flesh and he is unmoving in trance he comes out he sees again goes into trance <laughs> it doesn't bother him at all in fact after some time people who, who saw him in that state they took him out of there is in trance only they took him out of it the, from there they put him in a proper place where he won't be bothered he doesn't know anything that is happening so many years he used to be like this now this is a fact this is this, this is real thing that happened but if your focus goes on that your spiritual practice will go nowhere because you will start comparing that he could withstand a cobra bite <laughs> i cannot withstand a mosquito bite <laughs> i am nowhere near it <laughs> you will start calculating your spiritual progress with the number of mosquito bites you can take <laughs> this is not spirituality it really happens it, it's, it's all funny things that happen with people so if mosquito bites you if you are aware of the bite you shoo away the mosquito it's he was not sitting there withstanding he didn't even know he did not sit there to withstand cobra bite or uh, withstand the scorpion bite that was not his goal don't uh, big make mosquito bite as your goal even if mosquito bites i should not do <laughs> no you move you shoo away the mosquito and continue don't feel guilty about it don't feel uh, don't comment on it mosquito came bit you you should have eaten better okay fine don't start commenting i am a very horrible fellow i can't even take a mosquito bite when will i reach that state don't go into this this is a huge problem in spirituality very huge problem see a simple example i give you suppose you are working you are you are intensely working your office work laptop is open some people laptop is open now itself you are working you are interested you are very curious and you are working mosquito comes and bites you hey, you shoo it away and you should continue working will you feel guilty you won't say mosquito disturbed my work i am a horrible worker <laughs> don't do this <laughs> the same thing applies to your spiritual practice also if you have not yet reached that state okay fine you are able to feel the pain feel the pain uh, then don't comment on it don't become a commentator you decide whether you want to see the reality which they saw 
or you want to you want some pain killer meditation you do meditation and you won't feel pain getting rid of pain physical pain is not the goal of meditation it is that you take a pain killer why you want to meditate why you want to struggle so much so you are not looking for some anti venom technique or some pain killer technique if that happens you do it and you ignore it don't comment on it continue this is one main thing don't focus on the don't focus on the superficial details which are available around those people when they went into that state they were unaware of it therefore all these things happened they did not sit there to exhibit these things 